Hello, I'm Martin, and welcome to Short Stories, brought to you by the National Taichung University of Science and Technology Language Center. Today's short story is called Chicken Little, or Henny Penny, depending on who you ask. This is a story about paranoia and hysteria. The tale's refrain, the sky is falling, is now a well-known idiom in English. There are several movies based on this story, including a 2005 Disney cartoon. Today you will hear my version of the story. But first, I must read the vocabulary and example sentences. At the end, I will read four listening comprehension questions. Okay, let's begin. Vocabulary High strung High strung The many tests are making the students very high strung. Figure out Figure out I can't figure out this riddle. Ridiculous Ridiculous she didn't believe his ridiculous story. Baloney. Baloney. Your story is a bunch of baloney. Be in on. Be in on. They are both in on the plan. Collude. Collude. The corrupt police officer colluded with the criminal gang. Rumor. Rumor. She spread a rumor that Jack and Jill were dating. Conspiracy. Conspiracy. He believed in a conspiracy to hide evidence of UFOs. The story. Chicken Little was a young chick who lived on a farm. He was very happy most of the time, but was also a bit high strung. Every morning he went for a walk in the barnyard. His favorite spot was under a large oak tree, where he would relax in the cool shade on hot sunny days. One day, while Chicken Little was resting under the oak tree, a polecat who was in the tree decided to have some fun and dropped an acorn onto Chicken Little's head. Chicken Little jumped to his feet in fright. What just happened? he shouted. He looked around but couldn't figure out what had happened. The polecat dropped another acorn. Now Chicken Little was really scared. The sky must be falling, he said to himself. I must warn the others. Chicken Little ran to tell his mother, Henny Penny, what had happened. The sky is falling, the sky is falling, he cried. Are you sure? asked Henny Penny. Positive. I felt two clouds hit my head, answered Chicken Little. Henny Penny did not know anything about clouds, and she often wondered how they stayed up in the sky. We better warn the others, she said. Henny Penny and Chicken Little met Goosey Lucy. The sky is falling, the sky is falling, they both warned. Goosey Lucy asked, Really? How do you know? Chicken Little replied, I felt two clouds hit my head. Goosey Lucy, who loved the rain, knew that sometimes things do fall from the sky. Water falls from the sky, so why not clouds, she said to herself. She thought for a minute and said, let's go warn the others. The three birds met Ducky Lucky. Chicken Little grabbed him by the wings and said, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Ducky Lucky said, what are you talking about? Goosey Lucy stepped forward and said, It's true, Chicken Little was hit on the head by two falling clouds. It must be true because I felt things fall from the sky too. Ducky Lucky looked up at the sky and replied, 
I bet the farmer knows what's going on. Let's ask him. Before the farmer returned, the story of the falling sky had spread all over the farmyard. Now all the chickens, geese, ducks, and turkeys were shouting, The sky is falling! The sky is falling! The pig, Hammy Sammy, thought this was ridiculous. What are you stupid birds shouting about? he yelled. Chicken Little told him about the two clouds that hit his head. That's baloney! Clouds don't fall from the sky, said the pig. But the birds wouldn't listen. Actually, they became angry with the pig. I bet you're in on it, accused Henny Penny. In on what? said Hammy Sammy. Henny Penny then accused Hammy Sammy and all the other pigs of colluding with the farmer. I've heard that the farmer kidnaps our eggs and eats them, and he shares them with you, said Henny Penny as she pointed a feather at Hammy Sammy. Pretty soon, other wild rumors were spreading across the farmyard. Some believed that the weather vane on the roof of the farmer's house was a signaling device for the clouds. Others thought that the rooster Cocky Locky, who had died last year, would come back and save them. But one thing all the conspiracies had in common was the farmer. They all believed that he was behind all the terrible things on the farm, and decided to march up to his house to demand answers. The farmer, who had just arrived at home, was shocked to see all the birds gathered in front of his house. Furthermore, he couldn't understand what they were all shouting about. When the farmer failed to address their concerns, the birds grew angrier. Let's get him, shouted Ducky Lucky, and all the birds rushed at the farmer. The farmer was terrified and slammed his door shut, but the birds did not give up. They started pecking at his windows, which started to crack. Soon the birds broke into his house. The farmer ran to the closet while the birds ran around his living room and kitchen. Some started chanting, Hang the farmer! Hang the farmer! Suddenly the farmer reappeared, this time with a shotgun in his hands. He started shooting any bird he saw. Bang! Bang! The birds scattered and ran away. The next day, the farmer decided that maybe he had too many chickens, geese, ducks, and turkeys. He began culling the flock. As the farmer was rounding up the chickens to be slaughtered, the polecat watched from the oak tree and laughed. The Questions Number 1. Why did Chicken Little think the sky was falling? A. A cloud fell on his head. B. Henny Penny told him it was falling. C. Two acorns hit him. D. He saw aliens landing in the field. The answer is C. He was hit by two acorns. Question 2. What did Hammy Sammy think of Chicken Little's story? A. He thought it was true. B. He thought it was possible. C. He thought it was nonsense. D. He didn't care about it. The answer is C. He thought it was nonsense. Question 3. Why were the birds angry with the farmer? A. The farmer ate Chicken Little. B. The farmer installed a weather vane on his roof. C. They thought the farmer was causing the sky to fall. D. They thought the farmer was causing COVID-19. The answer is C. They thought the farmer was causing the sky to fall, or had something to do with it. Question 4. What is the lesson of this story? A. Don't believe everything you hear. B. 
Believe everything you hear, especially if it is from someone you know. C. Don't eat chicken. D. Trust in your own convictions. The answer is A. Don't believe everything you hear. Well, that concludes today's short story. I hope you learned a valuable lesson about not believing everything you hear. That's kind of why this story keeps coming back and why it keeps being remade and reinterpreted. Because every generation has its own the sky is falling panic. And that's what this idiom refers to. The phrase the sky is falling means that you are panicking about an imagined or exaggerated threat. And those happen all the time. There's always someone claiming the sky is falling. And uh, that's why you should be a little bit more skeptical about the things you hear from maybe uh, less than reliable sources. All right, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.